Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm giving you part two of this ocean tutorial. This part is ocean. Oh, sorry, not oceans. This part is materials and textures. First of all, I'd like to apologise for the huge delay. Uh, I am gonna make sure this doesn't happen again. But basically, a long story short is very unwell for a week. Then, well, internet's still not really working very well. So you know, hopefully this will be up by a Wednesday. It's currently Monday, Boxing Day and you know things happen so let's get straight into the tutorial um, whoops wrong button so uh, this is what we should end up with at the end of this tutorial I've got the material here that we're going to remove so let's just go into our 3D view uh, so I'm going to get rid of that material and let's get rid of it with all of these ocean meshes because we don't need them uh, there we go and one last one when it finally selects there we go away with it so then um basically the way or what we're going to do or what we're aiming for is if we just go back to our image uh you can see that we've got this nice big shiny bit of ocean here and over here more this is where you can see it a bit better if i zoom in it's getting quite low quality but um well it's getting low resolution but you should be able to see how, in fact no you can't see it at all, but basically we're trying to get that effect where uh, the ocean is sort of uh, creating funny patterns like it does in real life and if you look at any ocean you'll see, uh, it, you sort of see how where, like, where the water is rippling the light bends and reflects and refracts creating these weird little patterns that occur and you can see them a bit down there and um, well, you know, if we go, if you've seen part one, you should realise, or should know that going back here is just the rubbish zone. So we're sort of focusing on this front bit. Um, that looks quite funny. But you get the idea, you should be able to have that result at the end of this. But it really depends on the sky texture that you have. Anyway, so I've been talking for too long, getting you bored, and not teaching you a thing. So let's just get straight into what on earth was that thing that popped up? Anyway. Let's get into it. So we're going to add a new material. We're going to call this uh, ocean. Well, I had I called my last one ocean. Let's call this ocean again, and it should. There we go. Uh, so this is called ocean. We're just going to set it as a blue color, kind of like that. But we're not actually going to have it looking like that. That's just a sort of reference, so that if we were to add more things, you can clearly see where they are, and they're not all going to be grey. Oh, we actually added a new material there. Uh, with these other ones, we're just going to select that ocean material that we just made. So, if we right-click on one, there we go. Just click on this, and then choose ocean. And uh, we can now edit our material. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is increase the specularity all the way to one, and then we're going to increase the hardness to about 150. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is change the diffuse from Lambert to Miniat. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you get the idea. I'm going to set the darkness to about a 0.25, so quite low. You can see it's a lot, lot brighter now. And what this does is it helps us fake translucency. Well, that's what we're using it for anyway. But uh, it can really help with getting uh, these sort of nice, smooth-looking surfaces. And, uh, of course, as I said, faking the translucency. Um, so, let's just get rid of all those. Mirror. Now, this is quite important. We're going to want to increase the reflectivity up to about a, what was that? I think I had 0.8, somewhere around that. So, quite high. We're also going to increase the Fresnel amount. And it's sort of hard to explain what this does, but it's basically saying that the, the uh, sort of more squished up this is more solid the colour is, the original colour. So if we set this to about 0.8, and then we set the blend, which is basically increasing the filter, if that makes sense. Uh, I think if we increase, oh no, decrease it, there we go. You should be able to see that, uh, or what that's doing. So just a bit of blending, just to about there. And then the glass, we're going to have that at 0.97. So just remove a bit of glass, uh, creating some funny looking things. Alright, then there we go. Um, 
another thing, transparency, no, not going to bother with that, unless you've got something underneath the ocean that you want to see, um, but, you know, that's usually where the reflect, sorry, refraction would come in, in uh, all of these settings, but we're going to fake that, like we did with the um, translucency, with textures, um, so yeah, that should be fun, alright, so let's get into the textures, like I said, and uh, we're going to add a new texture, we're going to call this ocean dot col meaning ocean color and we'll set this to image or movie and then open up an image and it's going to be our sky image and this is as I said going to be the color so we're going to set the coordinates from generated to normal and um, if you know what that is you might want to skip a couple of minutes while I explain this basically the normal is uh, sort of the direction of the faces or the polygons. So, for example, if you were to add a particle system, uh, the you know you sh Blender should know which side the particles could come out of, and it's the same. Unless your normals are messed up, it should be the same um, side if, of the polygons, if that makes sense. And the way Blender figures out which side it is without messing it up at all is by using the normals. And if we have this texture being mapped onto the normals. Um, basically, for each individual ripple, uh, you should be able to see uh, this nice sort of thing occurring where um, uh, the texture is sort of being changed a bit, if that makes sense. Anyway, so um, that's quite hard to explain, but I hope you get the idea. So we just want this to affect the colour, and that's about it. Uh, we're going to then give this... Uh, we're going to put it in again, and I'm going to hit this 2, and call this ocean.ref. And um, what we're going to do with this is, under mapping, where it says generated, we're going to choose reflection. And we're going to make this actually affect the reflection, which is... Where is it? Oh, there it is. Mirror. And so if we look at our material... Ooh, that's not looking good. Um, okay, we can just uh, make this a bit brighter than what it should be by just going to the diffuse and uh, decreasing the darkness to about maybe 0 0.15. Okay, maybe just 0 0.5. That's increased. Oh, yeah. 0 0.05. There we go. Uh, so coming back a bit, but maybe we should just decrease the color a bit. Just like that. There we go. The mirror, maybe just decrease that, there we go. Maybe increase the colour a bit now, just to make it a bit stronger, there we go. And just to compare to my original, because I quite like that, I'm going to actually go it up. Okay, so it's almost the same as this, but this is just a bit darker, and that's fine. We don't really need to worry much about that. Um, yeah. So then, oh, maybe if we just decrease reflectivity, there we go. And just take uh, the mirror off this. So just untick that box. There we go. Um, just increase the color again. And increase the reflectivity again. No, no, no decrease. Okay, so, um, should sort of see where that's gone. Um, it's looking quite funny. Well, it should look quite funny. That's actually what we want. If we were to now render... Oh, wait, no. First, we need to change the sky. So, uh, if I just get rid of all this, untick that, and then get rid of that. So, um, the way to create the sky is if we select this world and then come over to textures, or you could even have the material select and go over to textures. Just the important thing is that this bit here is selected. So, keep that selected. Then, make a new texture. I'm going to call this sky.col. Again, it's going to be image or movie, and again, we're going to load up our sky, which is there. And, um, there you go. But if we go, were to go over to the world section, first of all, you'll notice that nothing has changed. It's still just this grey colour. So the way we change this is to go back to our textures, come down here and change the influence to horizon. And then that way, uh, if we come over to our world, you can see what it's looking like, but it looks quite funny so if we just use paper sky there we go it's fixed done um oh and just untick those 
Uh, you can also see we've got uh, a few things. So we've got ambient occlusion that we set to a 0.2, and we've also set this to multiply. And we've got environment lighting at an energy of 1, and it's the sky texture. So basically, where every shadow is, uh, it's going to sort of add this texture to light it up a bit, uh, which should help this whole reflection, sorry, refraction, reflection stuff. Um, Okay, so there we go. Now if we render this, we should be able to see, um, well, the general results. So I'm going to pause this, uh, so, uh, you know, just to speed up. Okay then, so this is what you should have. If you've got a good sky, or, sorry, if you've chosen a good sky texture, um, you know, you should be all good. And uh, you should start seeing these results that you've, well, that we're aiming for. Um, but yeah, so I've this is this part over. If you want to see part three, which I'll be making now, uh, please do. Uh, so thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, visit my Twitter. Wait, uh, no, visit my website. Follow me on Twitter. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.